What if the world you see isn't the world at all, just your viewable version of it? Through another creature's eyes, what does reality truly look like? That everything you think is real, every color, every shape, every shadow, is just a filtered version of reality, shaped by your human eyes. Because while we see one version of the world, other animals see something entirely different. To them, the sky glows with hidden patterns, the ground pulses with invisible trails, and ordinary objects shimmer with colors we'll never perceive. So if their version reveals what's truly there, what does the world actually look like? And what have we been missing all along? Not because you're blind, but because you're human. To find out, we need to step out of our own eyes, and into theirs. Let's follow the vision of creatures that see beyond what we call visible. Your eyes can only see a tiny sliver of light, just 380 to 750 nanometers in the visible spectrum. That's less than 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum. Everything beyond that? Ultraviolet. Infrared. Polarized light. Magnetic fields. It's not gone, it's just hidden from you. A secret world that exists all around us, waiting to be seen. But not by us, by them. Let's start small, with a bee. You see a daisy and think yellow, maybe white. Pretty. Sure. But to a bee? That same flower is a glowing beacon, marked with ultraviolet patterns that form landing strips. They're called nectar guides. Bees don't guess where the nectar is. They follow a glowing map that we'll never see. What's invisible to us is their version of a runway light system. Every petal is painted with instructions only they can read. And they're not alone. Kestrels, a type of falcon, use ultraviolet vision to hunt. Small rodents like voles leave trails of urine. Nothing you'd ever notice. But these trails reflect UV light. To us, it's just grass. To a kestrel circling above, it's a neon-lit road map leading straight to dinner. This isn't some sci-fi filter. This is how these animals live, hunt, survive. Now imagine slipping into darkness, total darkness, and still being able to see. Welcome to the world of the pit viper. These snakes don't just use their eyes. They've evolved pit organs, tiny heat-sensing pits near their nostrils that detect infrared radiation. That's heat, in light form. In pitch black, a viper can still strike a mouse with terrifying accuracy. It sees the mouse's warmth like a glow stick in the dark. Some species can even detect heat changes as small as 0.03 degrees Celsius. Their prey doesn't have to move. It only has to breathe. Up north, where the sun barely rises and everything's blanketed in snow, vision needs to be different. It needs to be clever. Reindeer see an ultraviolet. In an endless white landscape, this matters more than you think. Wolves, predators that would blend perfectly into snow to our eyes, suddenly become visible to the reindeer. Their fur absorbs UV light, standing out like shadows on a glowing field. Where we'd be blinded by glare, the reindeer navigates using UV contrast. Camouflage defeated. And then, there's the ocean. Meet the mantis shrimp. If you think 2020 vision is impressive, think again. While humans have three color receptors, red, green, and blue, the mantis shrimp has up to 16. They see polarized light, ultraviolet, and possibly wavelengths that don't even have names in human language. The ocean, to a mantis shrimp, is a glowing web of signals, colors, reflections, and movements that we'll never experience. To them, every surface, every shadow, every ripple is encoded with meaning. Some cephalopods, like cuttlefish, don't just see polarized light, they use it. Their skin reflects polarized patterns only other cuttlefish can detect. To predators, they remain perfectly hidden. To each other, they're sending silent messages, flashing codes across their bodies in a language invisible to outsiders. Like a pitcher and catcher trading signals, everyone's watching, but only one knows what's coming. Down in the reef, sharks see biofluorescence. They don't need fancy filters. Evolution gave them the tools. Certain fish and corals glow under blue light, creating outlines and signals that humans can't detect without equipment. The reef to them isn't a blur of coral. It's alive with silent, glowing shapes. Back on land, in the cover of the night jungle, lives a strange little primate, the tarsier. Its eyes are so big they don't fit in its skull. So the tarsier turns its entire head, almost 180 degrees, just to look around. But that's not the most impressive part. Its retinas are packed with light-sensitive rods, giving it near supernatural night vision. To us, the forest is darkness. To the tarsier, it's a playground of shadows and whispers. Cats and dogs share a similar trick. They have a reflective layer in their eyes called the tapetum lucidum. It bounces light back through the retina, making the most of even the smallest bit of brightness. That's why their eyes glow when headlights hit them. It's not a creepy effect, it's evolutionary brilliance. Cats can see in one-sixth the light we need. And while dogs don't see all colors, 
they detect motion with incredible speed. What we call dull vision, they call tactical advantage. Some frogs have done something astonishing, they evolved to see color in the dark. While humans lose color perception in low light, because our cone cells shut down, frogs use modified rod cells to detect color even at night. Imagine putting on night vision goggles and seeing not just shapes, but actual hues. Now shift your gaze to the tiny jumping spider. It has eight eyes, but two of them are special. They don't just see well, they see fast. So fast, in fact, that researchers believe they process motion in microseconds. They don't just react to prey, they anticipate its path. Their eyes are like slow motion cameras, built into a body the size of a fingernail. Even cows, yes, cows have surprising vision. They have almost panoramic sight, around 330 degrees. That means they can see nearly all around them without moving their heads. Their color range is limited, but they're masters of contrast and motion. Not built for beauty, built for awareness. Let's go weirder. The octopus. Its skin can see. Light-sensitive cells in its skin respond to brightness and color without input from the eyes. This is called distributed vision. It's like your entire body having tiny eyes that constantly update you on the environment. Imagine changing color automatically every time a shadow passes overhead. In the deep sea, the firefly squid emits light, but also sees that light reflected off objects. It's like shining a flashlight in the dark and being able to spot the shape of things from the faintest glimmer. It's bioluminescence and echolocation combined. In West Africa's murky rivers, a slender, silent fish glides. The elephant nose fish, despite its curious name. Its long snout grabs attention, but the real magic comes from its tail, where faint electrical pulses ripple out, powered by electrocytes. Weak pulses form an electric field. Disruptions are instantly sensed, its superpower in the dark. Let's talk about birds. Some birds, like the European robin, may see magnetic fields. A protein in their eyes called cryptochrome may allow them to detect Earth's magnetic lines as faint visual patterns, like a compass overlaying their natural vision. This isn't just instinct, it's biological navigation painted into the world they see. Zebra finches judge the health of mates using UV feather reflections. To humans, two birds may look identical, but to another finch, one glows like a beacon of good genetics. Even goldfish surprise us. In the right conditions, they can perceive ultraviolet and infrared wavelengths. Their murky pond is a layered light show of reflections, algae, movement, and color. Bees and ants use the polarization of skylight to navigate. They don't see a blue sky. They see a grid, a compass, a map drawn in the angles of light. Dung beetles navigate by starlight, and some by the Milky Way itself. The night sky is their GPS. Did you know scallops have dozens of tiny eyes, each one using mirrors instead of lenses to see? They focus light onto two retinas, one for detail, one for motion. Together, these eyes help scallops track predators and the flow of water currents. Jellyfish, despite lacking a brain, have light-sensing organs that help them move with purpose in the vast ocean. They don't drift, they navigate. Nature didn't stop with human vision, it just kept going. We see color, but other animals see heat, electricity, movement, magnetism, vibration, even time itself. Each living in a world will never truly perceive. And us? We're just starting to catch up with cameras, filters, sensors. So the next time you look at your pet, or swat a fly, or watch a bird in the sky, remember, they might be seeing a reality you'll never experience. Not metaphorically, literally. And that is what we cannot see, but animals can. There's still so much more to discover, one mystery at a time. If you loved uncovering the invisible worlds of animal vision, hit that subscribe button and stay with us.